ladies and gentlemen, throw six of all ages, code the child, hair dogs to born, but built for theme parks. And welcome to this theme park news from update. Where today, SeaWorld San Antonio have an, well, not they've announced, but park fans uh, have revealed a leaked layout for a 2023 flume ride. Now, I'm going to share all the details in this video. Park fans, special shout out to them for this image because they're doing some great work at the moment. Uh, the Carowinds video is coming up tomorrow so stay tuned for that uh, before we get started please like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you're new around here click the notification bell so you never miss youtube video make sure you do uh, go to the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys let's have a look at see what san antonio's 2023 attraction so on your screen now, Fan Dabby Dozy from um, Park Fans is the image uh, of the attraction. So here's some pointers uh, for what we're looking at here. So it will be replaced in the former Texas Splashdown Log Flume attraction. Now this operated at the park between 1991 and 2011. Now if you want a bit more uh, stats on this uh, uh, Texas splashdown. Um, so this flume ride, uh, this log ride, holds four adults and the more weight, the more wet you get. Uh, it's another of the best rides to partake when the day is hot and long. Um, now in terms of um, you know, final. I mean, uh, let's look back, shall we, at the official post as to when we said goodbye to the Texas Splashdown. So, um, the Texas Splashdown, the final splash of the Texas Splashdown. Now, this was a, um, like I said, a, a quite an old attraction. Um, like I say, it was an old log ride. It was, you know, it was a classic aerodynamics log flume at Seawell San Antonio. And it, it was, like I say, it was a classic attraction. Built for two million quid, uh, well dollars, as we call, as call it in America. Um, like I said, closed on the 31st of May 2011, and um, you know it was it was a really you know it it's, it's it was a classic project. It really really was, and um, you know it's definitely now the the the, the, main, the main thing about this sort of new attraction, should we say? is it will it's said to reuse much of the former rides queue and station and the new layout even integrates sections of the texas splashdown's original layout which is very exciting for the historic theme park fan um now at first the new log flume sounds sort of boring but this is potentially very interesting now the second half of the layout, the portion from building 989 back to the station, building 990, uh, there is, appears to be an intamin flume elevator followed by a sizable drop which takes boats under the entrance and exit pathways next to building 990B on the plan which you can see on your screen right now. Uh, from there, there's a long straight portion of flume below building 990C before the final splash down above building 993. I'm pretty sure this is lengthy straight section, we'll feature an airtime hill similar to the one found at Chapas in Fantasia Land, and that finale sequence alone is pretty neat, but it's impossible that the first half of the layer is actually the most interesting part. Now, of course, another oddity is that after the conveyance portion of the layout ends, there's a stretch of elevated flume that crosses a previous part of the layout and a service road. Seems to me that it would make sense to cross these elements at the highest point of the portion of the ride, which, if the conveyance method was a lift, would be at the top of the said lift. That said, in this in this case, the layout crosses both those elements at the halfway point between the end of the old trough portion with the conveyance method at the start of the splashdown. Almost as if the elevated trough portion we see in the layout is an airtime hill like we saw earlier in the layout. So putting all the details together, it looks to be a trough area, could be some sort of launch leading into an airtime hill followed by a splashdown. This might be a long shot, but it's not a complete and utter impossible possibility. Now, in terms of other pointers about this potential attraction, uh, this is definitely an intimate for multiple words, reasons. They've been working with Sea Worlders of the past few years. The comparison to Biberberg in Austria is spot on, with both elements in common. Uh, the plan even details footers for the same elevator lift system lifts from the right hand side, of course. Now, the launch is a potential head scratcher, but in could very well install a launch on the flume. We could even finally see the Ultra or Giga Splash hardware included 
However, if this ends up similar to Bibberberg or sticks too close to the original Sposs down stance, maybe it's not so feasible. Definitely a wild card, but we place a lift deal in there as a safe bet. Sounds like a very strong addition. Provides yet another solid defense to the strong Texas heat. Uh, if you live in Texas, you know. Uh, Properly revives an abandoned site, pays homage to the past, and gives the states a cool new flume ride. And uh, many are hoping it does better than shoot the rapids at Cedar Point, and we all know what happened there. Uh, but let's talk about my thoughts on the brand new 2023 flume project, which looks to be by Intimate. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill 6 of all ages. That is speaking about SeaWorld San Antonio. Now, I love this ride for those multiple reasons that we said in that video. Again, massive shout out to Park fans. You know, they do some wonderful work. You know, like I said, Carolyn's video coming tomorrow. They do some incredible work. Um in the past and they've, they've really knocked it out of the park with carowinds which i'm going to talk about tomorrow and see what san antonio that's why i was waiting a few days for today and tomorrow because i've got two big videos this one and the next one uh now see what san antonio like i said this this could be a brilliant addition um it might not be this record-breaking coaster that coaster fans want but you know like like it said in the report you know it pays homage to a classic ride goes against the texas heat Provides another flume ride, a cool flume ride as well from the sounds of it. Um, you know, we talked through some of the detailed planning stuff and, you know, specific buildings and specific elements, etc. We're talking through that. And you can follow the plan, you know, as we were talking through it. You know, I said to you, buildings 99C, buildings 990B and stuff like that. So uh, you can follow the plan. You could see the layout with your own eyes. Um, it looks... I wouldn't say 100% because it's not been confirmed yet, but it would be, I would say, 85 to 90% likely it's going to be Intamin. Um, I, I, and I wouldn't be against that because Intamin do some really cool attractions. So um, I think overall, you know, Sea San Antonio is really knocked out of the park um, this particular attraction. And uh, I really can't, stew, can't wait to do more updates on this one. So. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm Ghost Chow Coop, living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a splashdown Texas day. Paying tribute to the Texas splashdown. What do you think it?